All right, guys. I am so excited because it's finally done. So before we get started, quick disclaimer guys, I am not your doctor, I am just sharing amazing information with you guys here on YouTube. So make sure you do all your research, if you are taking other medications, make sure you consult with your doctor. All right, let's get into the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today the cramp bark, guys, the cramp bark is done. This is like gold. <laughs> so if you guys have never had cramp bark, you are definitely going to want to have it after this video because today we're going to strain it. I have my handy dandy French press. We're going to get it all bottled and then I'm gonna tell you guys what the goodness is about the cramp bark. So if you guys didn't see when I first originally bottled this up and started the tincture, I will link that video down below where you guys can watch that. But cramp bark, for those of you guys that don't know, this is like liquid gold for if you have any type of pain. Any type of pain of a soft tissue. So that could be, it for women is what it's usually used for, for cramping, hence the name cramp bark. But it also can be used for men too as well, like if they have like a, a torn muscle or any type of soft tissue pain, whether it's around the organs, so maybe like a liver pain, or anything like that, they can use this as well. Headaches is another thing that it's good for. Um, cramp bark just has a lot of medicinal properties that really controls the inflammation in the body as well as the pain receptors with that soft tissue. Now the nice part about this too as well is that it really doesn't have any side effects. Some people may get tired or something like that with it, but other than that, there's no real side effects for this. So when people tell me things like, oh, I just take Tylenol because it's trusted, there you go. Okay, so I am going to strain this. Now, I always love my French press, guys. I'll put a link to the one that I have down below, but it has, if you guys can see that, it has the finest little strainer on it. So anything that I do with a tincture or a, um, or like just my teeth and stuff like that in the morning, I use my French press for. It's funny because I've never used my French press for coffee. <laughs> so I just use our coffee maker or our um, espresso maker. So now that we have that all out of there and all that goodness, all I'm going to do is just take this and just strain it down. Now guys, cramp bark does have like a bit of a different flavor to it. It has a rough flavor to it. But my cramp bark tincture tastes amazing. And it tastes amazing because I also put some stevia and I put some chamomile in there. So my cramp bark smells and tastes amazing. Just if anybody was wondering. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go ahead and just strain this into a bottle. Now the nice part too is that cramp bark doesn't go bad guys. So you can have this pain reliever on your countertop or in your medicine cabinet, your medicinal medicine cabinet for years and years and years and years and years. And I did this tincture with an 80 proof alcohol or 80% alcohol. Um, I wanna say it was a vodka. I think so, I'll have to go back and check the video. So it makes it to where it's really preserved. So this right here is going to be a, if we need something, we just take a couple teaspoons out of it, put it into some water, or you can just drink it by itself because like I said, my cramp bark does taste pretty good with the stevia and the chamomile, and you're there. And within about 10 minutes, it's usually when it, how, how long it takes for cramp bark to show side effect within your body. So within your 10 minutes of you putting it in your water, you're pretty much out of pain. And that is what makes this so amazing. So I wanna to talk to you guys about a couple of other uses of cramp bark that you may not have known about. So this is an anti-spasmatic medicinal herb, well, medicinal bark. And what that means is that it can help with a lot of different things in emergency situations. Emergency situations being like heart attack because your heart is a 
soft tissue. It's, it's a soft tissue and it is a muscle that can spaz if it's having like a heart attack. Um, if you're having a seizure, if you're having an asthma attack, all of these are muscles in your body that can be seizing or, or, or spazzing, um, strokes, different things like that. And one of the main reasons why women had this on their countertops or in their house years ago, centuries ago, is because this little thing can stop a miscarriage. So if you are in an early stage of a miscarriage and you take some cramp bark, it has the ability to relax the uterus and actually stop a miscarriage from happening. And there has been a million cases over the centuries of women that have gone on to have perfectly fine, healthy pregnancies afterwards. So maybe a woman missed and tripped and fell or something like that, and it started making her uterus contract in order to save her life, which her body will do, then she can take this and that will stop the contractions and will stop the miscarriage. So this little bottle of goodness has so many different properties and I would really encourage you guys to have cramp bark somewhere in your house. It's editing Tiffany here, but I also wanted to mention some of the other uses that cramp bark has for women while they're in labor. So this could be something that can be used. I wanna say you wanna to talk to your herbalist because it all is going to be uh, you know, different depending on the labor that you're having. But women can use this in their second stage of labor and I think their third stage of labor. Once again, check with your doula. I'm not a doula. I'm, I do herbs, but I'm not a doula. So make sure you check with your, your doula or your midwife. Um, but this can be used to control some of your contractions and actually help your baby be able to ease its way down. Um, also, after you have your baby, a lot of people didn't know, I didn't know in the beginning, that once you have your baby, you your, your uterus starts to contract again every single time you breastfeed. And there actually is a product called um, after ease that a lot of women use it contains cramp bark so it has a couple of other things too as well in it as well but if you just had cramp bark that would help to relieve a lot of your pain um, during that time when your uterus is contracting back down so if you guys once again great thing to have on your cabinet so whether it's in a tincture whether you make it in a tea i always make my cramp bark in a tincture because it's easy to get to so if you're in pain or if somebody's having like a heart attack or a seizure or something like that, God forbid, then it makes it to where it's already there. You already spent the six weeks, it's already, it's already in there so that you don't have to wait for it to brew because since it is a bark, it is pretty thick. So if you are making it in a tea or something like that, you want it to brew for a while in order for it to get all the medicinal properties. Can you do that? Yes, you can, but you don't wanna be sitting there in pain staring at your cup waiting for it to brew other people also put it in a detox the detox detoxion i probably said that wrong <laughs> so basically what that is it's like a double boiler you boil water put the cramp bark on top and then put something on top of that or put the cramp bark in the water and then put a bowl on top and then put a lid on that and then the condensation is actually like your essential oil essentially of your cramp bark so that is another way that you can have it too um and that should last for a while i'd probably put it in the refrigerator but if you didn't want to have the alcohol with it that is another way that you can do it um i probably wouldn't put it in like honey or you could do it probably in vinegar too as well um vinegar is another thing that can probably hold a lot of its of its medicinal value and be able to draw out the um the medicinal value from the bark but since it's a bark i prefer to use a grain alcohol because it really just gets in there and draws out all of that goodness so i hope that you guys learned something new with this this is just a quick video because i asked if you guys wanted to see it and everybody said yes so this is what it looks like i will probably be starting another jar i like to always have one started and then one that we're using because it does take about six weeks for it to brew its little greatness but hope you guys find it interesting and I hope you guys put cramp bark on your list of medicinal herbs to have in your cabinet and to have a tincture made because it can really really do a lot for you and your family but until next time grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food bye guys